Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show how to crochet this pinwheel kitchen pad and scrubber set. To do this, I'm using sugar and cream cotton yarn. Even though this is Tunisian crochet, I'm using a regular plain crochet hook. I'll show the scrubber first since it's smaller and made the same way as the pad. First, make a slip knot on your hook. And then chain 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I have one loop on my hook. Next, I'm going to do Tunisian crochet to get two loops on my hook. Then I chain one. Yarn over and take off two loops. Now I'm going to do three loops on my hook. So one is already on the hook. I go into the end for two and into the chain for three. Chain one. Then take off in groups of two. Now I need four loops. One is already on. Go under the bar for two and in the end for three and into the chain for four. Chain one and take off two loops at a time. Now I move on to five loops. One is on, two under the bar, three under the bar, four in the end, and five in the chain. Chain one, take off loops in groups of two. Continue doing this until you have finished all chains and have 10 loops on your hook. Take note of that last chain. We're going to use it throughout this pattern. Chain one, then remove loops in groups of two. I'm going to change colors to make the next piece. With this new color, we start the whole process over again. There's one loop. Now we need two loops. Chain one and remove two loops. And now three loops. You can see how instead of working in a chain, we're working under the bars in typical Tunisian crochet style. And now four loops. One, two, three, and four. Chain one and take the rest off in groups of two. Now when we get to the tenth loop, we put it in the base of that first green crochet chain. All tenth loops from all the colors going forward will go in that same base chain. You can see what this looks like thus far. Now it's time to switch to the yellow color and do the same thing as we did for the orange color. Always start off with one loop, then increase to two, three, four, and so forth. And as with all the colors, when you get to that 10th loop, be sure to put it in that green base chain. Chain one and take off in groups of two. The reason why we do this is so the center part all joins together and you don't have to sew that part in the end. Continue on with the remaining three colors for a total of six pieces. Here's what mine looks like once completed. You'll need to take some yarn and a yarn needle and sew up this seam right here to close the scrubber. And I like to make two of these. You can try and match the colors or let them random like I do. Then I make a slip knot on my hook. I insert my hook into both scrubbers along the top chain edge and proceed to make a single crochet around. It's up to you. 
You can just sew it together if you wish or use a slip stitch or even reverse single crochet. And here's what my scrubber looks like in the end. Now the kitchen pad is made pretty much the same manner. The only difference is you'll start with the chain 18 instead to make the pinwheel larger and proceed with the same steps as before. Start with the one loop and increase to the two loops, three loops and so forth. And I'm still using a regular crochet hook for these 18 loops. You have to be a little more careful the loops don't fall off, but it's still relatively easy to work with. Feel free to use a Tunisian hook with this if needed. You can see how much larger the 18 chains and 18 loops make the fabric. You'll still make six pieces to the pinwheel even with the larger one, and you'll make two pads and connect them together. And that's how I make the pinwheel kitchen pad and scrubber set. To get more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.